Good morning, everyone. Welcome to today's Makeup Monday. I have got some Christmas shopping to do today. So I've got a place I've got to head out to in about 20 minutes. So we are going to do a quick drugstore makeup look. So everything that I am using today is drugstore makeup. And by that I mean very, very inexpensive drugstore makeup. But not, we never want to use things that we know are going to be really poor quality. You know, sometimes you can just tell that it's not going to work for you. So always, always, I like to use a good base on my skin. So what I have on my skin right now is my moisturizer. I will link what I use on my skin down below. And I do change it up sometimes, you know. I don't I don't ever like my skin to get used to one particular product. So I have a few that are my go-tos that I use all the time, but sometimes I'll stop using them for a month. I'll try something different, go back to it, all that kind of thing. And I'm very, very happy with my combination of a serum, vitamin C, and then a moisturizer. I feel like it's really improved my skin over the past like six months. So I stick with that. And I know that might sound like a lot to put on before you put makeup on. So this morning and what I normally do, I don't usually layer on that last layer of moisturizer. I'll do the vitamin C and also the serum. And also remember, I didn't realize this until like six months ago, layer from thin to thick. So start with your runny serum, your thinnest. Um, serum and then layer on whatever else you put on. Oh, hyaluronic acid. I do that every single day as well. So that's what I do. You layer it on from thin to thick, but I skip the very, very um, thick night cream. I don't do that in the day. So I have all my moisturizer on and what I used today was this one, which I've shown you before and it's really become one of my favorites. This is Rosie. Let me get you the right name. Age Perfect Cell Renewal by L'Oreal in Rosy Glow. I have used the heck out of it, so I really hope I can get it. I'll link it. I need to find it, too. I'll link it for you because, like I said, obviously, I need to buy one as well. But it's um, both. These are the kind of products I like are therapeutic and makeup, so they kind of do double duty for you. So I put that all over my face, just like a moisturizer, but also a little bit of a skin tint. So I have that on. And then the blush I used today is the Tarte Creamy Blush. And you can see I put that on my cheeks and I put a little bit on my nose and we are good. I'm gonna do powder last. I'm gonna see how this sits down on my skin and I'm just gonna do powder absolutely last. And then of course my latest greatest has been, I love filling in my eyebrows now. You guys told me you need to fill in your eyebrows. I don't know, I've never been comfortable doing that. Now I do that, so this is what I've been using, and I just use a little makeup brush with it, and I just fill them in with this dark brown. I think it's called espresso. Okay, so today we are gonna be trying out a makeup palette that my granddaughter gave me. My granddaughter is seven years old, and she wanted me to get this one. LA Colors, now I think, I think, we got this at five below. She loved the colors, she loves the rainbow colors, and she said, Grandma, get this one and let's do makeup. So I thought it would be kind of fun to see what I can do with this. Now I just put some primer on my eyelids and I am using the Sigma Base Primer. This one is a little bit glowy, a little bit more glowy than I would have wanted, but that's okay. It might work better with this eyeshadow. So I did lay down some primer on my eyes and let's just see what we can do with this. Now I did dip into the blue just to get an idea of how, I don't know, chalky it was gonna be, but the primer will definitely, definitely help. So we're gonna see what we can do with it. It came with this little sticky deal. So I'm actually gonna use this for underneath for eyeliner. Um, I am, I'm going to go ahead and use it on for that. <laughs> All right, so I don't know the names of these colors because it doesn't tell us, but I'm going to dip into this real pretty kind of periwinkle blue, and let's do just like under, under my lash line down here, and let's just see how we're doing. All right, that's well, okay. I want to do this now because 
I have, um, you know, my moisturizer and everything I put underneath my eyes kind of sitting down. And it, since this is a little bit chalky, I, I don't want a bunch of fallout. I don't want it to get in my contacts or anything like that. So I'm just going to throw a little of this blue down. I think it's a very pretty blue. I actually love the color. Okay, nice. I like that. Now we're going to move away from this little guy for now. I have so many makeup brushes that are in cleaning. So, by the way, when I used to clean my makeup brushes, I will link below. It's called Cinema Secrets. Oh my gosh, it's the greatest. You dip it and it dries immediately. I love it. But in the interest of sticking in the drugstore realm, I'm going to use this dollar store wet and wild makeup brush. Now, what color do we want to do? We need a mid-tone. So let's, why don't we go, why don't we go over here? Let's go over to this blue over here. I know, I know, blue, blue eyeshadow might be a bit much, but we're going to try it. And you know what, see how much that primer helps. When I swatched that on my hand, you saw how chalky that was. And I, I don't know, it probably did not come through the way that it did for me here in real life. But that was very, very chalky. It kind of like fell off into my skin. But with the primer, I just think a good primer is just so necessary this is working because it's turning the eyeshadow into more of a creamy product where it really truly is not. So I want to say, you know, like I mentioned, we got this at the five below store. So it was definitely below $5. I don't know how much below. All right. Okay. That's not bad at all. Now let's go into a deeper shade and let's go over here in the corner. I'm going to have to switch brushes. All right. This brush, I don't have any more of these Dollar Tree brushes, so I'm just going to use one that I know just came with a, a makeup kit of some sort. Nothing. Let's dig down deeper a little bit into that. Better, but still nothing. You know what? Let me try my usual trick. All right, so one of my tricks is to use an inexpensive setting spray. That one is NYX, and that should bring out the pigment. It's almost like adding, like if you added water to something to brighten it. All right, that's better. It's still, I'm really digging in to get anything, but that's better. See, it, it had trouble layering. You know, like when I use my Sigma or my Bella Beauty Bar or some of the other better quality products. And you know, I'm not using Chanel. You all know that. I'm not using Chanel over here or something that's like super luxury makeup. I just use things that are a little bit over um, drugstore pricing and they blend beautifully. This I'm struggling with. All right, I'm gonna use a clean brush and I am going to use, this is a Morphe brush, but it's the one that I tell you all the time that I feel like you have to have this in your arsenal. I call it a mop brush, but it's really because I paint as a hobby, so that's where my term comes from, but I think this is called a blending, maybe a blending brush, I don't know, um, but I call it a mop brush. Clean, and let's see if we can just kind of blend it out. This is where our primer is our best friend. All right, it's blending. It's kind of blending away. But that's all right. That's better than having a massively harsh line. All right. I'm okay with that. I'm all right with that. Okay, now we need something for our lid, eyelid, but we need something I think that's a little bit brightening and I'm afraid, so we've used these two colors and I'm inclined to come over here, but I don't think we're gonna, uh, I don't think we're gonna get enough difference if we use this one. 
Why don't we jump up here? Let's jump up here. And you know what I think we're gonna do? We're gonna go back to this guy. So we're gonna try this. All right. And we're just gonna, I'm gonna spray this. I'm just gonna go ahead and spray it because I want this to go where I want it to go. I don't want this glittery stuff to fall all over my face. Oh, yep. See how much just using that setting spray helps? It definitely helps. And like I said, when we are using this kind of stuff, this glitter girl kind of stuff, see, it still fell out, but this is helping. A lot. It could be worse, right? It could be worse. All right, I don't think it's terrible. Now, I'm gonna be honest here. I could feel that kind of falling. I know I have some right here, but that is okay because I did set my face with my very favorite. This is the one I use as a setting spray just for eyeshadow so that it lays down, it sits down, it stays where we want it to stay. I use the inexpensive one, but for my skin, I use this one and I'll link this below for you. It smells amazing. So I did set my face, so I should be able to wipe this away with a brush, one of the, a big brush. And I am going to add a little bit of powder because I'm a little bit more glowy than I want to be. So I think that's pretty good. We're going to do one more thing. I want to do just kind of like an inner corner, little bit of a color there. And what I think I'm going to do is try this color because I like this color. And I'm going to use what the clean side here because I'll throw this away after. Oh gosh, look at the seat. I don't know if you get the quality. Look at that. It's it's poor quality for sure. But what I mean, you know, let's be honest. We're, let's put it into perspective. I got it at the five below. All right. I don't want this falling into my contacts, so I sprayed that pretty heavily. Pretty. Just a little aqua. A little mermaid look. I'm gonna see my my little seven-year-old who wanted me to get this, so we have to impress her with, with our look. All right, I don't think it's horrendous. Let me put a little bit more mascara on. I'm gonna put some mascara on my bottom eyelashes here, and then we will do lipstick, and we'll have a finished look. Here is our final look. I don't think it turned out too bad. I think it achieved that kind of ice princess that my granddaughter was going for. I don't think it turned out too bad. Now, in terms of the quality, I will expect this to probably last about two hours. Even though I did go ahead and do my eyes, I sprayed it with the better setting spray, but I would expect this to maybe last two or three hours. I used this uh, Revlon lipstick in, I believe it's called Bear, yeah, Bear Affair. So that's what I have on my lips. But I do think overall, I'm fine with the look. I think the look is pretty, but the quality of the makeup is definitely, it's definitely worth the $3.50 or $4 that I paid for it. But I will say that with the good base primer, I was able to at least blend it. And, and I think the blend is nice. I don't think it looks patchy or like too heavy or too dark in certain areas. So I did the best I could with it. Anyway, overall, I would say perfectly fine. And I'm gonna leave, I'll leave something here just to let you know how long it did actually last because by the time I'm editing this, we will know. I will try to find it. If I can find it, the palette, I will link it. But like I said, I did get this at five below. But if I can find it, I'll link it just for sake of ease if anybody wants it. Um, but you can probably pick it up at five below. All right. Thank you so much for hanging out with me during this Makeup Monday. All of the other makeup that I used will be linked down below for you. And I will see you in the next couple of hours if there is not a video out already for our second video of the day, which is always a food video.